As you consider the lives of some of the great reformers, you come to the conclusion that they weren't faultless men. That's putting it nicely, I think. Martin Luther made many stridently anti-Semitic statements. Ulrich Zwingli approved of executing people by drowning because they baptized by immersion and didn't believe in infant baptism. John Calvin gave Michael Savitas up for execution because Savitas held to a couple of differing views. How do you explain that? Well, carefully, lest it sound like you're making excuses for some pretty rough stuff. But two things to consider. Number one, these men were products of their time, and this biblical Christianity was new. Second, it's evidence that God is gracious and uses imperfect people. Psalm 103 verse 8 says, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. That's not making excuses. It's simply a truth that we can both be grateful for. I'm John Bradshaw for It Is Written. Let's live today by every word.